Bone resorption and gum tissue shrinkage is a very natural process that occurs following loss of a tooth. Now the most significant amount of tissue shrinkage often occurs in the upper front teeth involving the canines, the lateral incisors, and the central incisors. And this is mainly because the bone is quite thin around these teeth. While bone grafting can help to minimize tissue loss, it does not eliminate it completely. Now socket shield is a relatively new technique that's highly effective in total tissue preservation. It's a type of partial extraction therapy which involves preservation of a very thin veneer of the root which effectively keeps the bone and gum tissue intact. In this episode, we'll discuss how it works and how it can be combined with dental implant therapy for achieving remarkable results. I'm Dr. Ryan Kazami and welcome to Hints and Tips in Dentistry. One of the common questions that patients ask when they're about to have a tooth extraction is will I have enough bone to be able to get a dental implant and a replacement tooth? And that's a very good question because bone and gum tissue are both critical factors in being able to support dental implants and also restorations that appear and look natural and also function well. So one of the problems that we see quite often after a tooth extraction and the main concern is the bone and gum tissue shrinkage, which is actually a natural process that happens following extraction of a tooth. As the socket heals, the bone and gum tissue shrink and remodel, and often we get defects or uh, ridge deficiencies that can result in poor aesthetics, as well as in some cases, inadequate foundation to be able to place a dental implant. So traditionally, we have used a couple of techniques to help to minimize the bone and gum tissue shrinkage. The first is using atraumatic extraction techniques. And what this is, is use of certain instruments and techniques for minimally invasive approach and minimal insult to the surrounding bone and gum tissue to help to preserve it. And the second approach is extraction site bone grafting, which is used to augment and also preserve the ridge after a tooth extraction. Unfortunately, both of these techniques, although they are quite helpful in minimizing the shrinkage, are not completely or 100% effective in preventing it. So we still see certain level of remodeling and shrinkage even with these techniques. So the question is, how can we preserve the bone and gum tissue 100% after a tooth extraction? Is it even possible? Well, the answer may be in a relatively new technique known as socket shield. What is socket shield? Socket shield is a type of partial extraction therapy. And what that means is that with intention, we purposefully, we leave a thin segment of the root of the tooth that we're extracting in place. And it becomes a shield against the bone and the gum tissue that's overlying it. By maintaining this segment of the root, which is still attached to the bone and gum tissue, it maintains and preserves the bone and soft tissue above it. In essence, the site thinks that there is still a tooth in place and it does not remodel. Often after uh, the partial extraction therapy or the socket shield technique, we can place an immediate dental implant and really do this procedure in a single stage. Let's take a look at a couple of examples. Here's a patient with a non-restorable tooth, a canine, which uh, could not be treated due to very severe caries and uh, resorption. However, we see that the tooth has a very good level of gum tissue and we'd like to uh, preserve it as best as we can uh, and to minimize any changes following extraction and the implant therapy. In fact, when we look at the comb beam CT scan, which is critical to have for diagnostic purposes, we see that the bone that's overlying the, uh, the outer aspect of the root is quite thin. This is a very common finding, especially in the upper front area of the mouth. And hence, with conventional extraction, the bone 
very easily undergoes a resorption and it shrinks and as a result we see the thinning effect of the ridge and in essence we tend to lose the dimensions of the gum tissue that we have so our goal is to how to maintain the level of the gum tissue as we have it and to minimize its change during the healing process so we go through our computer assisted planning our virtual uh, restoration design and also computer assisted planning and digital planning uh, for the implant placement we then fabricate a surgical guide for the placement of the implant using a 3d printer and here is the site after the partial extraction therapy most of the tooth has been removed except a thin veneer a thin shield of the root that's remained in place on the outer side and this is the socket shield that we spoke about earlier in this case we can do an uh, immediate dental implant placement and also placement of uh, some graft material in the gap between the implant and the uh, shield and here's the patient two days after the surgery minimal changes to the gum tissue there is absolutely no swelling the recovery is quite fast because we did not place any incisions there were no flaps and very minimally invasive technique at this point we uh, place a customized abutment which helps to form the gum tissue during the healing process and another way to preserve the architecture of the gum tissue as the implant heals in place and here's the patient before and after before the extraction and after the extraction with the implant replacement and we can appreciate that the gum tissue level its quality its appearance is completely 100 percent unchanged really al allowing us to uh, uh, provide 100 percent preservation of the soft tissue and the bone at the margin of the restoration and hence a very predictable aesthetic outcome let's look at another patient with a fractured tooth that could not be saved and again we want to be able to preserve the soft tissue the gingival line and prevent any remodeling that can uh, result in poor aesthetics and uh, of course undesirable outcome so here's a patient before the extraction and here's a patient after socket chill technique immediate implant placement and final restoration and here we can appreciate the comparison of the gum tissue and bone before the tooth was taken out and after completion of the treatment the extraction and the implant therapy with absolutely no change in the topography and architecture of the soft tissue of the gum tissue so we're able to really preserve the socket uh, quite well and here is the x-ray and a comb beam CT scan afterward which shows the socket shield in place and that is really what is supporting the gum tissue and the bone overlying the tooth and prevents it from uh, shrinkage over time so the question of how do we preserve bone and gum tissue after a tooth extraction and to achieve optimal aesthetics here is our recommendations first it's critical to obtain a comb beam CT scan prior to the extraction so we can have an accurate diagnosis of the tooth position the bone thickness and be able to choose and select the right technique for the extraction of the tooth second it's important to remove the tooth using atraumatic extraction techniques no incisions no flaps no manipulation of the gum tissue because all those can result in shrinkage and loss of tissue following tooth extraction third consider a socket shield partial extraction therapy when possible it's a very effective technique to preserve the bone and gum tissue close to 100 percent after an extraction with minimal changes fourth consider immediate implant if possible and appropriate being able to perform the extraction in this case a partial extraction therapy and placement of an immediate implant they both help to preserve the ridge 
and the gum tissue and bone in the area. So certainly uh, a very effective way to also hold on to the bone and gum tissue and in additionally shorten the overall treatment time. Number five, place a small amount of bone graft material at a gap that develops between the implant and the socket shield. What this means is that following partial extraction therapy and placement of an immediate implant, we almost always uh, end up with a very small gap between the implant and the socket shield. And it's important to place some bone graft to close that gap during the healing phase. Another technique, another approach to minimize changes of the uh, rich topography during the healing phase. Number six, consider a soft tissue graft in very thin tissue biotype patients. This refers to patients who have a very thin gum tissue to begin with. So if we can do some soft tissue grafting to uh, create a, a thicker gum tissue over the area, it provides much stability of not only the bone and gum tissue, but also stability of the implant underneath. So having a thicker soft tissue is a very effective way to also uh, support and preserve the tissue uh, after the treatment is completed. Preserving the bone and gum tissue after a tooth extraction is an absolute must for being able to achieve remarkable aesthetic results. And the best way to have great bone and gum tissue is simply to prevent losing it. Socket shield and partial extraction therapy is a very exciting, very effective technique to do exactly that. So if you're about to have a tooth extracted, particularly in the upper front area of your mouth, make sure to ask your surgeon about socket shield technique. Keep the bone, keep the gum tissue, and hopefully and possibly skip the unnecessary and costly bone grafting procedures. Thank you again for joining us today. I'm Dr. Ryan Kazemi, and see you again soon on our next Hints and Tips in Dentistry.